Hello everyone and welcome to Proteus. Now, today Proteus isn't really a game it's that's very action packed or anything and so, I don't know, I, I felt like doing a sort of different kind of video today. So what I've decided to do is a sort of podcast sort of thing, not going to be the most interesting thing for people who like the fast cuts and stuff like that because I doubt I'm going to edit this. Uh, and. So I'm just going to sort of talk about stuff that's been going on uh, in gaming, news and stuff like that recently. So let's uh, just go in. If you don't know, Proteus is a freaking awesome game. I love Proteus. It's, it's so relaxing and nice just to play every now and again. Oh, it's so good. Gives you a warm feeling, you know, down there. Not down there. Yeah. Um. Oh, here we are. Okay, so in what... in um. Proteus, the point of this game is that you're on an island, right? So we're being washed up onto the island. I, yeah, you sort of just get washed up here and, um, then you just have the whole island to explore. It's, it's great. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is watchdogs. Ah, oh, then the music kicks in. I am freaking excited for watchdogs. Um, in... Uh, on the date right now, it's May the 26th, which means that Watch Dogs is coming out tomorrow when I'm recording this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be late. Uh, this video is going to be up not today, so... But yeah, Watch Dogs, oh my god. Okay, I'll talk about a few issues that I have with people talk talking about Watch Dogs. It looks fucking awesome. I don't... People are going, oh, but the graphics have downgraded. I don't really honestly care about the graphics. It could look like GTA 4, which is not the best looking game at, uh, looking back on it now. And I would still be happy with it because, you know, I'd love it to look nice and everything, which it will. It's just people are going, oh, the textures have downgraded. I don't care. I'll be able to... You have a wide open city, which is massive. It's the size of actual Chicago, uh, almost. And, and then people are complaining that there's clipping issues on the coat and stuff like that. I li... You you can hack into anything in the city. It it just it just annoys me how people are talking about clipping issues and anything like that when it's such a cool game. It's such a cool idea for it's going to be a wonderful. It's one of the most. It's definitely my most anticipated game at the moment. So it looks so good. I I don't know what to say about it because everyone knows about it. If you don't, then just watch one of the many videos that are up. It's the first game in a while that I've been properly hyped for, because I've pre-ordered it, I've pre-ordered the, um, I never pre-ordered games, I think the last game I pre-ordered was, um, Quantum Conundrum, and that was a massive disappointment. Uh, I pre-ordered it because I was like, oh my god, this is by the person who made Portal, uh, or designed Portal, let's get this, and yeah, it wasn't very good, honestly. But hopefully this game won't be a disappointment. I'll... Yeah, I don't pre-order games, because usually I think it's absolutely conning people into just doing stuff with pre-order exclusives, and I still think that is exactly the case. It's just that in this case, I am being a massive hypocrite here, because I want the full experience with Watch Dogs. And so, this is one of those games where I am being an ignorant consum consumer, because I am going to buy all the DLC, and I've bought the exclusive packs so that I get like an hour extra gameplay, because I want to squeeze I want to squeeze this thing like a lemon. Le that's that happens, right? Like you squeeze, yeah, 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 to make lemonade, right? Think of a better metaphor. Um, it's gonna be like, like my enjoyment, my my the, my level of enjoyment is a cup, and I'm and the game is a lemon, and my hand is me playing it. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon until my cup is full. That made perfect sense. Um, the next thing that I'm talking about after Watch Dogs is Batman: Arkham Knight. Jeez, this is another game that I'm super excited for, but, you know, not as much as Watch Dogs. You get to drive the Batmobile. The Batmobile. The Batmobile. In a game, and it's going to be really nice. Oh, hopefully it's going to be really well, easy to drive and things like that. It's, I'm, oh. Come on. When's the last time you've ever what, gone... Oh. Loud noises. When's the last time you've played a Batman game and thought, wow, driving the Batmobile is fun. In fact, I've never driven the Batmobile in a Batman game. That's because I don't play 
many Batman games. But honestly, Batman uh, Arkham series by Rocksteady, that is some the good stuff right there. It may- oh god. I just really like it. The combat, oh god, uh, I'm gonna stop ranting now. But, yeah. Oh, hello? Is that is that a frog? Yeah. Hello? Oh, that the first time I did that when I played, I, that made me jump so much. Alright, let's follow the frog. Um, so, what I hope they don't do is, and spoiler warning, uh, I'll put an annotation on screen right now if you want to skip this spoiler. Uh, okay, pause the video. You've got, like, oh, he jumped into the sea. Alright, you've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You gone? Alright. Batman, uh, I mean, the Joker dies at the end of, um, Batman Arkham City. Honestly, it's a wonderful scene, a really good twist there, and it was just so well done, and what I really hope they don't do is bring back the Joker. Now, I love the Joker, I love, um, Mark Hamill's Joker so much, it's, I, it's a great character, but I feel like it had its ending, and if they bring it back in some, ooh, he was actually not dead, or something like that, this is a big tree, uh, in, in, or something like that, then... It just won't. It'll feel a bit wrong. I do not want them to bring back the Joker at all. Uh, I want them to stick to the new characters and some of the old ones, obviously, like Two Face and oh wait, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, the Arkham Knight, honestly, doesn't seem like such a good character. People are going, "Oh, there's a new character in Batman. Isn't that cool?" Not really. Kind of just, eh, I don't know. It's just, just a kind of a seems to me. Kind of just like a Batman, techno Batman. I don't know he, he he's cool to look at and stuff. It's just I want to know more about his character before I start judging him as a character. If you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, Batman Arkham Knight. That's gonna be a good game as long as they don't change everything up as much as they. Uh, or I want the change to be slightly bigger than it was from Batman uh, Arkham Asylum to City, but uh, but not too much. And I also don't want it to change none. I don't want it to be like Call of Duty. To, to Call of Duty. Oh, there's some fireflies over here. Let's follow these. Uh, so next up is um, like another. It's actually more gaming news, not 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 just a game. There's um. Uh, there was a something that came out called uh, which is uh, about Sony. Oh, what's it called? I don't, I don't have a PlayStation, so. Um, Sony, a uh, PS Plus, PlayStation Plus, and that is like the system where you get free games every month. I don't, it's a good system apparently, but uh, only half of PlayStation owners own PlayStation Plus. And what I didn't know was that um, PlayStation owners actually, uh, PlayStation Plus is the thing that actually allows you to play online, which is bad. I'm not a fan of that because Xbox does it, and it's absolutely stupid. It's just um, you know, having to pay to play on an online game, that's not how it should go. You should be able to get the full. Ex you should be able to buy a game, and when you've bought that game, that that's it. You know, you've got it, and you should have every single feature to it, unless they want to release some de unless they want to release some decent DLC. But when you buy the game, you should be able to. You should be able to have access to every single thing on that game disc if you're playing on Play PlayStation. If they release DLC, which is downloadable, it's not on the game disc, then I'm fine with that, I guess, as long as it's not stupid stuff. Um, I just... But yeah, only half of um, people who have a PlayStation 4 use PlayStation Plus. Which means that only half of PlayStation owners are playing online. Which is a bit crazy, considering the numbers of... Um, of online, of you know, um, of uh, on the online games, there's so many people playing it. It seems like it's going to be 75% at least. But I don't know. I I don't really have much to say about it. I just think it's quite interesting. I don't know. So yeah, just find that a bit weird. Okay, next up is uh, yes, uh, Half Life. Well, there's been a joke on the internet for ages, which is like Half-Life 3 confirmed, which you know it's a funny joke, but uh, it, um, but 
I know I'm being a nitpicking here, but what people don't seem to realize is Half-Life 3 was already confirmed straight after Half-Life 2. Half-Life 3 was confirmed. Um, Gabe Newell was like, yeah, it takes time to make Half-Life games, don't rush us and stuff like that. It has been confirmed that they're going to make it uh, countless times, but you know, that's just, that's just a thing. But now it's been probably confirmed that they are developing it. So uh, right now, they are working on Half-Life 3, which is, uh, and Left 4 Dead 4, of course, which is really exciting, because, you know, everyone wants Half-Life 3, obviously, it's, everyone wants it, it's, it's not like it's a big secret, and, uh, oh, here we go, coming into this, um, clearing here, which will allow us to change the time, this is one of my f the favourite parts about the game, you go into this circle, look at this, time goes faster the, the closer you get to the circle, so if I walk out, Oh, I can't walk out. But look at this. This is just again yeah, because the circles are keeping me from drawing out. But just the further I get inwards, faster time goes. When I until I get step into the circle, and here we are. What season are we gonna get? Oh, look at this. Nice and summery. All right. Okay. This is nice. Some stuff falling from the trees, there's some bees over there. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh yes, um, Half-Life 3. Uh, uh, everyone wants it. Left 4 Dead 4 as well. Oh sorry, what am I talking about? Left 4 Dead, Left 4... Oh, it's because it's got 4 in the title. Sorry about that. Left 4 Dead 3. Uh, Left 4 Dead 4, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, Half-Life 3 and Left 4 Dead 3, they're working on them and... I'm excited about that, but the thing is, Half-Life, going back to it now, it's still an amazing game, you know, it's still wonderful and brilliant, but if you haven't played it now, uh, if you didn't play it when it came out, you won't be able to see the massive, uh, the massive change that it made compared to everything else, hello frog, uh, compared to everything else, that you won't be able to see how much it was revolutionary and just well done because you know a lot of games do what that game does now which you know it's it's still a very good experience it's just that it it wouldn't be so revolutionary if you came back to on it now so what I want them to do is exactly what I want their, their change to be as significant as what they did for uh, Half-Life 2 I want that to be Half-Life 3 I don't want it to be a, like a direct sequel to Half-Life uh, two. Oh, I, obviously I do, in story-wise, but I don't want it to be using similar engine, stuff like that. I want it... <sighs> it's difficult to explain, but I, I just want it to make a change. And oh my god, look at all those crabs. That is amazing. Oh, look at them. Don't jump out to sea. Don't... Oh. Bye, guys. Can I come with you? Oh, oh, they're coming back. They're following me? Oh, there's the sun. Uh, yeah. I just, I just want it to be... Oh god, bees! The bees! Run. These are making me run really fast. There. Alright, get... Uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about Half-Life. I just want it to be a significant change. I want it to revolutionise gaming. Again. And I know that's going to be really difficult to pull off, so I don't know how they're going to do it, honestly. And Left 4 Dead, I just want to see, I just want to see more maps, just more features and stuff. So yeah, um, next up is uh, Su Super Smash Bros. Wii, and uh, just Super Smash Bros. in general, because I want to talk about, like, Super Smash Bros. Wii, it looks amazing, it looks awesome, it looks so good. And I know I've just gone, this looks really cool in this uh, video, but jeez, it looks really cool. Um, basically, it, it just looks like Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but better, which is what should be expected. Um, I, this is another one of those things that really annoys me about gaming. I can't remember who, who said this, but I remember someone said it. Uh, which is about half light. Uh, sorry, not half. Ah, oh, I cannot get my words out today. <laughs> um, so, 
We have... Yeah, what I want them... To, uh, what really annoys me about Super S S Smash Bros. is it just really... Uh, every time a new one comes out... Whoa, that's a sparkly frog. Uh, every time a new one comes out, there's always going to be people who think that the, the, the ones before that are better. So, for instance, when Wii U comes out, then people are gonna think, there are gonna be people who think that it's uh, worse than Brawl, which I just don't understand because I don't know how good Wii U is gonna be. They're gonna probably gonna change it. Uh, oh, sorry, they're probably not gonna change it, but it could be a pile of shite. And, but let's just talk about Melee and Brawl. Super Smash Bros. Melee, it was an amazing game when it came out and stuff. I didn't play it when it came out, but still. You know, I'm sure it was, because it is a great game. But, right uh, right now, I don't understand people who would rather play Melee than Brawl, because Brawl is just better, full stop. It's People go, oh yeah, but you got Mewtwo. It doesn't... Characters doesn't, don't matter. It's, it's the game that makes sense. Not like the sentence then. Ugh. It's just annoys me so much when people are like, oh yeah, the old version's better. And oh, that frog just jumped out to sea. I'm kind of sad now. Okay. Hey, that cloud looks like a bat. All right, back on topic. Back on topic. Um. Yeah, just the new one is gonna be better than Brawl, or it, it's almost a fact it's gonna be better than Brawl, and I'm okay with it just being Brawl with more characters, better graphics, and a better campaign. I'm pretty okay with that, just more kinds of stages, like WarioWare and uh, the Picto Chat, that was, those were really amazing stages from um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It, I just want, I just want them to not fuck it up, basically. I want them to make it a lot I, I want them to enhance it, basically. Just enhance the experience and make it better. But don't change too much. I am making no sense to do sorry, today. Sorry, um, it's late. So next I have uh, Far Cry 4, which is really awesome news. I, in fact, I'm actually Googling on my phone now. I know that's very un unprofessional about Far Cry 4 because I do not know much about it. I just read it on my... Uh, gaming news thing and uh, and I uh, just wrote that down because I thought it would be interesting to talk about. I'm so prepared, I know. Alright, here it is. Uh, Far Cry 4 is going to be oh, in the Himalayas? Wow, okay. That's going to be amazing. Sorry, probably shouldn't have read that on camera. Wow, okay, I'm excited about that. Himalayas, that... Think about what you could do there. Oh, and the snow blowing everywhere. Oh, it's, that's gonna be pretty good. What what I loved most about Far Cry and Far Cry... Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 2 is the cha the, um, sort of... the change of scenery. Even though it... it was still kind of-ish similar, but Far Cry 3 really just made it more like a fantasy with those birds and and all the drug trips and stuff like that. Himalayas, I can imagine them going a bit more gritty because I can imagine, you know, blood on blood uh, with red on white and I think that would look pretty damn cool. I think so I think they might actually be making it pretty gritty. I'm not sure it, even though the first one was uh, sorry, Far Cry 3 was pretty gritty. I uh, I don't know. I'm, I'll read on this um this thing. Uh, wonder if Vass is going to be in this game. I doubt it. Kind of. Oh, here's the uh, second season change. Here we go. Sorry, I, I'm just listening to the music here. It's really quite magical, the music. Oh, here we go. Changing it. And what season are we going to go to now? Oh. Now it's winter, uh, sorry, autumn, and everything's kind of like a um, 2000 music video. 
Yeah, okay. I just wandering around in this depressing place. Uh, the Himalayan aspect will hopefully introduce some new navigation me mechanics, like rock climbing. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be freaking cool. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have, apparently, um, oh wait, no. Imagine it's talking about how cool it would be if, if they were only accessible, uh, there were areas that were only ac accessible if you had a pickaxes and stuff like that, and if you had mountain climbing gear. And uh, they're saying you'll have to combine your repelling and wall running, wall running skills to properly reach these areas while repelling attacks by foes. The new synchronization points can also be probably be accessed using your mountain gear. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm... There's just so many possibilities they can go for with that, which is... Yeah, interesting. I, to say the least, I, I just hope they uh, again. I hope they change it uh, around a lot, change it up a lot, so that it's not all stuff. Just you know, the same as um, Far Cry Three. Right. Next up, uh, I'm going to talk about Goat Sim, and I'm probably going to rant, which is expected because Goat Sim is a, th a game which kind of confuses me. Now. I have a friend who bought Goat Simulator, I've seen it being played, and I'm not gonna lie, it was funny. I mean, I'm probably some sort of a childish, horrible person for laughing, but, you know, it's a funny game. Ragdolling everywhere is funny, it's a funny thing, and sticking your tongue out, bouncing on people, toppling them over, going to a family's house and knocking over their family funny, is funny for ten minutes. And then after that, the novelty really starts to wear off, and you think, okay, what can I do next? And then you start to wander around the map, and you try and get even further. You unlock a few secrets, and you unlock some new goats, and you go, that's pretty funny. What next? Then you try to explore the map a bit more, and you realise that it's about... It's really, really small. Really small. And you sort of just flop around doing the same things you've done, because... Okay, in stuff like Gary's Mod, then uh, the whole point is that you can change everything up. You can, um, the whole thing is based on physics interactions, not scripted things. Whereas with Goat Simulator, may as well be scripted, honestly. The, the ways you go around and just do so much stuff is, is pretty weird, honestly, that it's just, it's so repetitive, because as you walk around, you're going to do the same things over and over, and after you've, sorry, you're going to do different things, and then after you've done those different things, there's nothing left to do, whereas with, even with stuff like Fallout, you're still going to wander the world, and you'll be able to find easter eggs, like that alien easter egg, which just, it's... <sighs> I know that is a kind of a bad example because obviously with games like that there are going to be limits and you will be able to have done almost everything but you're not going to have seen every single inch of the map uh, whereas with Goat Simulator you can do that in about four hours I would say just do everything that's possible to do I and my game's frozen all right it's better uh Oh god, my game's being ridiculously laggy. And it's lagging again, it's not. And it's lagging. And it's lagging. Oh, oh. And it's not. Alright then, I'm just gonna stay still now and uh, try and talk. So, also, just go simulator. The reason I'm bringing this. So, uh, it's just a boring game after two hours, in my opinion. But I know a lot of people are going to have some fun with it, and that's not me going, "You're idiots for liking this sense, this humor." No, that you find what you find funny. If what's funny is to you is what's funny to you, I'm not going to say anything about that because, honestly, I, yeah, it's just it's a weird subject. Honestly, talking about a game which was meant for a joke but isn't all too funny to me, and the reason I bring this up is. They realise that, and uh, everyone's, or a lot of people are getting bored by this, 
and they've bought and they've um releasing a 1.1 patch with a new map and workshop support I think it adds I'm not sure I've not done research on this but it's weird thinking about thinking about just uh, them releasing a new game or basically a new map and going no 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 it's not it's not broken it's not it's not really it's not stuck for content look look a new map it, it doesn't fix it when your game comes out it should be as in, it should be very enjoyable and then you should fix stuff uh, what uh, and add stuff afterwards not not it's difficult to explain but with stuff like Minecraft which you have they started that when it is in like alpha it, bef way before alpha obviously and they started releasing that and people played as it fleshed out uh, around them so you're just playing and then suddenly uh, monsters and suddenly survival mode and suddenly you're, you're playing with other play players and suddenly there's trip wires and I've just jumped a billion updates but still and you <laughs> With Goat Simulator, if it was released as an alpha or a beta, then I guess it would be acceptable to add in these new maps and stuff. And I bet when you play these new maps, it's going to be funny to play. But I guarantee it's going to be for 10 minutes again. So that's my rant about Goat Simulator, Watch Dogs, Batman, uh, PlayStation, which I didn't really rant about, Half-Life, Smash Bros, and Far Cry. Much more of a laid-back video today, I I kind of just wanted to talk about a few things that have been happening, a few games I'm looking forward to, uh, so I googled some uh, game news and wrote them down on a note, uh, wrote stuff down on a notepad, and, now, and then I recorded, and I thought, what game requires zero thinking, and I thought, and oh, my lag stopped, uh, and I thought Proteus, so, here, you, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video more of a laid back sort of thing please uh, on, and I'm serious now if you enjoyed this kind of video please leave a comment or because, because I really want to know what kind of content people want because I, I do do I do a lot of different stuff different kinds of things on this channel and I want to know what people like so thanks for watching if you agreed or disagreed with whatever I said then uh, you can leave a comment. If I've messed up a fact, then please correct me. I am a given. And thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Dislike if you liked it. Disliked it. Subscribe if you really liked it. And I'll see you next time.